Hello and welcome to The Pitch, a series aimed at cutting out the noise and getting straight to the actionable insights. My name's James Marley and today I'm joined by the non-executive chair of NASDAQ listed Iris Energy, Mr. David Bartholomew. We're going to be learning everything you need to know about the economics of data centres. David, thanks for joining us. Pleasure. Let's get started. What's a 101 on the economics of Bitcoin mining? What do we need to know? Well, it, it's pretty straightforward. Um, Computing power from around the world is linked to the Bitcoin network and that computing power performs two tasks. It, it, it verifies each transaction of Bitcoin and it lays down an incorruptible record of Bitcoin transactions uh, and the provenance of each Bitcoin. Every 10 minutes the Bitcoin network rewards a miner somewhere in the world uh, for pr providing those services with uh, six and a quarter Bitcoin. Now, six and a quarter Bitcoin every 10 minutes at current Bitcoin prices ends up at eight and a half billion dollars worth of Bitcoin revenue over the course of the year. Each miner's share of that revenue is proportional to the amount of computing power that they have linked to the network. If you've, if you've got 2% of the hash power, you've got 2% of the revenue. Your biggest cost is electricity. And the difference between Bitcoin revenue and electricity cost, your mining surplus, can be used to pay overheads, reinvest in the business, uh, uh, or be distributed to shareholders, just like any other business. Okay, so what are the levers that you can pull to grow that market share and improve your profitability? Yeah, it, it's a capacity play. Uh, if you can build out and commission new data centers and uh, uh, link more computers to the network, than your competitors, you will get a bigger share of the Bitcoin pie. Mm -hmm. uh, there, are, uh, there are real opportunities for enhancement of, that, of the profitability from that revenue by ensuring you've got high uptime, high efficiency of your miners. They're the most important things. Okay. And what's the most important aspect of data centres for investors to understand people looking at data centre businesses? Yeah, look, not all data centres are created equal. Um, we've spent a lot of time and effort, uh, done a lot of R&D to refine the design of our data centres to ensure we've got temperature control and airflow conditions that maximise the asset life, uh, efficiency uh, and productivity of our miners. Uh, in addition to that, you've got to have uh, a good climate. It's got to be low temperature, low humidity, uh, and you've got to be, of course, uh, located near to a large source of excess uh, renewable energy um, uh, at low cost. David, a multi-billion dollar opportunity, but what are the biggest challenges facing a Bitcoin miner? The biggest challenge that a Bitcoin miner faces is to establish and maintain its right to operate at each of its sites. We're very careful about where we locate our data centres. Uh, we're very conscious of the impact that our uh, electricity load has on the electricity grids in which we operate. Let me take British Columbia as an example. It's a regulated uh, uh, electricity market. We use excess hydro that was used to be pointed at the pulp and paper industry. Uh, and uh, the way regulated prices work is that our load effectively reduces prices for residential and commercial customers on the grid. That's, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. In Texas, in deregulated market, we've got the opportunity to adjust our level of uh, energy consumption to allow more renewables to be dispatched to the grid than would otherwise be the case. Again, a good thing. And they're the sorts of reasons that we will have uh, distributors, generators, regulators, governments and communities uh, supporting our long-term operations. That's the most important challenge we face. I guess some of the others, um, firstly, distinguishing in the minds of investors between Bitcoin and crypto. Bitcoin and crypto are fundamentally different asset classes. Bitcoin is a $500 billion currency. Uh, it has uh, 14 years of tried and tested secure transaction history. Uh, nobody, no actor on the network can change Bitcoin. No third party can change Bitcoin. It's secure, it's there to stay. 
and that's very different from crypto mm -hmm. and distinguishing that in investors' minds is very important. I guess the other thing is that there's a perception that Bitcoin mining is a tech business. It, it's not. It's an infrastructure business. It's fundamentally about developing, owning and managing data centres and electrical infrastructure. It just happens that that infrastructure is pointed at Bitcoin at the moment. There are other applications uh, that we think uh, our data centres are suited to. Okay, let's wrap this one up. What are some of the things that set Iris Energy apart from other Bitcoin miners? Yeah, I think uh, most importantly, um, it's 100% renewable. Uh, we operate on 100% renewable energy and we're very careful about the impact that our electricity load has on uh, the electricity grids we operate in. It's the infrastructure focus. Uh, we're not focused necessarily on Bitcoin, we're focused on the quality of the infrastructure. Uh, we've got a management team that is experienced in managing those kinds of assets and we've got a management team that is aligned with shareholders. More than 20% of the business is owned by board and management. It was a tough period after listing. What's the outlook for Iris Energy now? Yeah, James, uh, look, there's no doubt the last 18 months uh, have been a challenge for us. The macro conditions haven't been favourable. But we've emerged from that period uh, bigger and stronger. We've also got uh, an attractive uh, growth pathway. Uh, we're fully funded for a further 20 megawatt expansion at our Childress site in Texas. And we're aiming over the next 12 months to get that Childress site up to 200 megawatts of data centre capacity. That plus the fact that we're looking at, uh, at new prospective sites in the US, in Canada and in the Asia Pacific region, region and that could get us over a gigawatt of data centre capacity. I think on that basis it's fair to say we're still very early in the journey. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this series of The Pitch. I hope you've enjoyed the introduction to NASDAQ-listed Iris Energy. The code is I-R-E-N. And thank you to David for joining us and teaching us a bit about the economics of Bitcoin mining, data centres and sharing some of your expertise. Thanks, James.